this time we shall talk a little bit about the holistic perception. Um, like uh, we have uh, two uh, half of the brain, the left brain related to the uh, rational way of thinking and the right brain uh, connected to our uh, intuition, feelings, imagination. Uh, and uh, accor according to this, we have also two kinds of perception. As human beings, we have this incredible capacity to, to, to pursue uh, reality in two ways. The left brain uh, perception uses the five senses, eyes, e ears, uh, touch with the hand, um, and so on. Uh, the, the five, through the five senses, we, we get very exact information about the uh, embodied or manifested world around us, about our environment. Uh, and the, the right brain perception has also its uh, senses. It is not just abstract. Uh, for example, it is the auric fields of our, our body. Our body has a kind of electromagnetic or auric fields, and if we come in touch with some invisible uh, a being or energy or quality in, in the place, uh, uh, we, we feel it because the impulse, impulse comes to our uh, body, uh, the body makes a very fine vibrations and then uh, uh, the, the backbone probably also and our nervous system uh, then transmits this uh, to our uh, right side brain. And then uh, we become inner images or feelings, uh, we get uh, imaginations. Uh, so, so these are um, like masculine and feminine uh, uh, sides of our perception. And uh, the, the physical perception with the five senses is very well known and we use it perfectly. But we, we lost contact to, to the left brain perception. And there we need to, to work because on. Because the, uh, the intuitive uh, feeling uh, perception uh, is uh, a holistic perception. So we, we don't see only details uh, of the physical world, but we perceive Together with them, we perceive also their background, the so-called the so archetypal world or causal world, where uh, the, the, the causes, uh, the, the roots for our day-to-day -day reality are being uh, forged, are, are being uh, created. So it is very important that to be a balanced civilization, we, we need to uh, use both uh, tools, both kinds of tools, the, the uh, five senses perception and the intuitive uh, and uh, sensi se sensitive perception uh, forms. Um, so th this course, I understand, is very much about supporting uh, this holistic perception. Um, it is important to understand that uh, uh, the, here, the subjective, objective way of perception does not exist. Uh, because if you are uh, outside of what you perceive, you are a foreigner. So the holistic perception means that you are at one with what you perceive. You, you enter, so to say. If perceiving a tree, I need to be the tree, and the tree then can be me. So th this is so important because in this way, uh, the, the very uh, basic connections between nature and life and human civilization can be developed. Um, also, what is important uh, is uh, to trust yourself. Um, uh, be, be aware that the holistic perception 
comes in a moment. Uh, it is uh, in one moment the whole information is present. So be uh, attentive if you come to a place or if you contact a tree. Be attentive at the first feeling you get. It is in the split of the second. And uh, uh, usually what happens is that the, 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 our rational mind jumps into this perception and says, this is nothing, this is nothing, because it cannot be translated on the directly in a rational language. But you, you need uh, free yourself that much that you have the freedom to have this first split of second feeling. And then the process goes on. Uh, you, uh, images come or colors or, or feelings. And then finally the rational mind can translate it into to understand what you have perceived. So the, the holistic way of perception is ex as exact as the physical, uh, but it is different because it is holistic. It is, takes with it the roots of reality. So I have some exercises uh, to, to train this holistic perception. The most uh, simple and maybe the most important is the back perception. Because, uh, so, you, you, if you want to perceive a tree, uh, uh, show the back to the tree and uh, uh, feel. Uh, because uh, we perceive always with the five senses what is in front of us or around us. But we cannot see through our back. So this is a good way for a moment to exclude the, the rational um, aggressivity and allow yourself to get uh, more subtle perceptions. You can try this. Uh, the best is with, with trees, but also with places uh, and landscapes. But then then uh, I would like also to uh, show you some exercise with the water. Uh, but um, for this, I would like that we go to uh, water to the stream that runs through our property here at Shempas in Slovenia. And uh, I will show there uh, the exercise. To have a holistic perception of the water and water element, I have uh, to propose two exercises. Uh, with the first exercise, you go down towards with your hands towards the water but you don't touch water, just like in your imagination you touch. In your imagination you touch water and then bring uh, like a cup of water up to, towards your heart. And while you are bringing the physical water, it is imagination of course, it, it has run away. And what you hold in front of your heart is the essence of water. And now you need to feel. Allow that the essence of water enters your heart space of your heart. And, and uh, so that you can get a feeling of the quality of water. The second uh, exercise uh, is uh, so that you again, you go down towards water. In your imagination, again, you take water into the bowl of your hands and you carry it above your head. It is like baptism. And then you let water uh, run through your body, touching your cells and microbes, uh, your organs, just uh, follow with your hands the, the course of the stream of water through your body. And then again you go down, take the essence of water, 
make the self baptism so it, it needs few times uh, to be done uh, to to get uh, a feeling of who water is and to create a mm, inner um, personal link to the water element. Another ex exercise to uh, get in touch with the essence of flowers uh, is, uh, I call it bee exercise. Like the, the bee comes to the flower and goes inside uh, to, to take uh, honey. Uh, in this way, of course, we are not looking for honey, but we are looking, uh, to, we, 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 we wish to um, per pursue uh, the, the inner space of a plant, of a, a flower in this case. Uh, so um, the, the exercise goes like this, that you, for a moment, you, you look at the, the flower uh, and then, in certain moment, you, you jump into. Uh, you, you need just to jump, like jumping into water. You know, you, you jump into the, the uh, flower, and then when you are inside, like you, you turn around, turn around, and it, it is, uh, the, the plant has its own inner space uh, where uh, the, the essence plant is stored, the matrix. So when you are inside, you, you turn around uh, to, to feel it. Uh, and of course, then you come back to yourself. Uh, the other uh, exercise that I use mainly for vegetables uh, is, is uh, so that, uh, again, you, you go, go closer to, to the plant and then you, you turn the plant with a gesture, you turn through your body and bring it back to its place. In that moment, when you bring it back, you start perception, feel, feel the quality, because now uh, going through the back, back uh, in your perception, you arrived to the essence of the plant. This needs to be uh, exercised. Uh, just uh, do it in the garden whenever. Do it with cabbage, with, with all sorts of vegetables that, that you have around you. And uh, this is a good training to um, uh, renew one's uh, holistic perception. You can uh, work on developing the holistic perception also in relationship to stones. Stones uh, are also consciousness. They are very, very uh, um, wise uh, consciousness, very old, very wise. It, it, it is wonderful to contact them. To, to contact a stone, I use uh, such a Gaia touch gesture that says, open yourself. No, this is closed, closed, and then open. I do like three times in front of the stone. And then I enter with, with my feeling, I, imagination, I just enter the stone. You enter the stone and you try, you start to move inside its beautiful uh, consciousness. Um, the, the other uh, exercise is uh, when you stand in front of a stone, you, you relate to its physical form. So you cannot enter into its consciousness. You need to go with your imagination around the stone, go around the stone and uh, search for a door. There must be like a little door always. You search for the door and enter. And uh, 
when when you are within you just feel you feel uh, but don't hesitate in the moment you, you enter you you don't think you feel very helpful are walking exercises when you go for a walk in nature you can do them again and again to train your sensitivity uh, i propose two two kinds of walking exercises one is while you walk you you uh, extend your feeling that you are not just within your body but uh, like you would extend your auric field or um, magnetic field electromagnetic field so, so far that you you reach uh, both sides into the environment through which you walk like this There is another uh, way of walking exercise where uh, you exchange walking forward and then you stop at one moment and you make three steps backward and you stand for a moment to feel because by going back backward you started to feel with your back which means feeling into the invisible dimensions of the environment. It goes like this. Embracing is another uh, good exercise, especially in relationship to the landscape. Uh, like you, you can embrace a tree, but not physically. You, you stand outside of its crown and then you, you go with the hands around, you go around the crown, around the tree and bring it closer to your heart and feel or the same can be done with mountain uh, you see mountain in front of you you go with the hands around the mountain and behind it and then bring it closer to your heart don't press totally to your heart because the mountain needs to breathe and you feel and then release mountains and trees and all beings of nature like human beings want to be free 